What's up guys, it's Ice Stallion here, and as you can tell by per the title, and I'm not wearing my glasses, we're doing another Try Not To Cry challenge. Now, this one's a little different. This one is Try Not To Cry Happy Tears. Now, the one before this, I did somewhat good during the actual video, but near the end, you'll guys see, I, I break down, and you can tell that I'm holding it in, but I failed the previous challenge, but this stuff is probably going to be happy, so I figure that this one's not going to be that bad. So, yeah, without further ado, let me go ahead and just swap to the actual primary thing here, and let's begin in 3, 2, 1. Warning. This video will make you cry. Let's get on our bottom. Really loud, Alexis. Dear The blood will dry <laughs> underneath <laughs> my nails, <laughs> and the wind will rise up to fill. If you guys are on this is the U this is the U.S. troop compilation. So this is soldiers coming home from war. God damn it. Myself. So you can down You can hate But I know No matter what it takes I'm coming home I'm coming home Tell the world I'm coming home Let the rain wash away All the pain of yesterday I want to stop here for just a second. Jessica's father called me. Jessica has a brother in Afghanistan and she wishes to be here today. I know what that's like. My wife and I had something rough in the Marines. And Jessica, when you see your brother. My bowl from earlier falling. No matter what it takes, Oh, oh. It's great to be home. 
I'm just sitting at the door. It's been almost a year. Okay. I'm going to kind of be listening at that point, and I'm going to walk in. Honestly, this is really, really sweet, guys. This actually warms my heart a lot. Man. Honestly, the music is making it worse. The music is really making this worse on everyone. And I think that's the point. <sighs> and they got Lincoln flag in the background which normally okay normally I'm okay with that but actually take that back it's not Lincoln Park it's uh, Fort Minor but it's just some really good music so I think oh yeah no there it is and if you guys don't know I'm Using a beanie. I'm using a beanie. Okay, so 
let me just be the first to get this out of the way. I failed so miserably. Like, literally, within the first video, I was already on the verge, because... There's just something about the military that... Just the immense danger that the military puts you in. It really is a, a disconcerting and hardening thing because you've got a wife, son, daughter, cousin, brother, grandparent, whatever, coming over to a whole nother country, somewhere they've probably never been before and will never want to go back to. And the whole time they're there, you have this immense, immense fear that they're not going to come back. Because I'm not going to take the wind out of other jobs. Because, you know, by all means, police officer, that's dangerous. Uh, firefighter. That's dangerous. EMT? Not that dangerous. I mean, yeah, it's emotionally dangerous, because you see some stuff that really fucks with you, but... It's safe to say that soldiers... They have it the worst out of everyone, because... You know... Joining the military is a lot like joining the police force. You know that you're taking up a mantle of a mantle of honor, and it's your duty to protect both your family and others, which both have to do. Now, granted, most cops do a very shitty job at defending people. I mean, I'm sure we've all seen the news about all of the shootings and all of this, but that's for a whole nother topic. That's a whole nother can of worms. I'm not opening. I'm not even going near that. That's being thrown in the trash. But with soldiers, the danger is so much more relevant because your entire point is centered around danger and Joining the military, it's it's a really, really big decision that if you're watching this and you want to join the military, all I'm going to say is, as someone who's personally, I've never been in the military, but a good portion of my family has and still is in the military. I believe I still have... Yeah, I have two cousins still in the military. If you do want to join the military, by all means, do it. If you want to defend your country, then do it. That's your choice. But it's a choice you really, really need to think about because it really is very, very dangerous because you're not 100% sure that you're coming back. When you're in the military, anything can happen. Every, every mission could, every mission, every drill, every something while you're overseas could be your last. And it's not only emotionally jarring for you, but it's also emotionally jarring for your family members. And I, for one, I I support the troops. I do. They are brave men and women who 
sacrifice everything to, in the name of defense and to keep people safe. They... They're heroes. They're... The military is a job where thanks are needed. You know, as a cop, it's your duty to uphold the law and keep everyone safe. And, you know, if you're keeping people safe, then you're doing your job right, and then good for you. But it's nothing really, you know, compared to a soldier, it's nothing really... I'm trying to think of the word here. I don't know, there's a word there, but I'm not going to think of a word and screw this up. But, when it comes to a soldier... Every time they're seen, in uniform, out of uniform, if if you know they're a soldier, they they deserve a thank you. They they deserve a thank you because they're doing the unimaginable over there. I mean, no one's forced to join the military. These are men and women who actively want to do good and actively want to risk their lives to keep their families and others safe. And... I just feel like soldiers deserve to be told thank you. Every time they're seen, they need to be told thank you. Now, on the flip side, there's something beautiful about seeing a family rekindered. You know, seeing this missing component of a family. Excuse me. Being brought back into their lives. And it's... Those were honestly tears. I've... I have honestly never cried tears of joy. Like, I've never have, but... That was the first time I actually cried tears of joy. Oh my god, but it's just... Another thing that's, that's that really hit home with this is... can't even get through without starting to choke up. <laughs> Seeing the children, and in this case, since it was mainly, since it was all male soldiers in this video, getting to see kids see their father again, it's It's personally my kryptonite. Anytime a father loses a son or daughter, it's it's it is my kryptonite. And I know it there's saying, oh well, you know, what about, you know, mothers in the military? I'm like, no, I'm sure that for other people that's uh, equally emotionally jarring. But <laughs> personally for me, as someone who's never knew his father, not even once, just the thing about a father and a child, it just, it, it is my kryptonite. Oh, Jesus. So... All in all, I'm done ranting. Uh, final thoughts on this video. Final thoughts I can think of are... If there are any soldiers watching this, or 
if there are children watching this who parent whose parents are in the military, then I just want to say thank you. And if there are any military any any military personnel watching this, thank you. Man, that was the cat. Thank you. You don't have to do what you do, but you do it anyway. So, to all of the men and women in the service, I just I want to say thank you. But. Stop crying. I'm just going to end it there. So, if you made it through this, if you made it through this video without crying, what the fuck's wrong with you? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, if you made it through this without crying, you have an iron will. Or at least you're very good at holding it back until after the video. So, if you're like me and you failed, like, the instant the video started, the minute they showed the first clip, and if you failed like me, I feel your pain. But, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And also leave a comment below. Also, remember, in the comments, tell me if you guys have a video that you want me to react to. Leave it in the link description. I have pretty much covered any type, every type of video there is. Well, I've covered the main moods and everything. Happy, cringe, etc. You know, just like gross out stuff. But anyway. Link in description. And I ran into it again. I, uh, leave, please leave a like and subscribe. I know I said, if I've said it again, I've said it again. But... Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. I, I'm seriously, though, going to go watch some My Little Pony. Uh, I'm going to have to get some happiness in me.